Hey guys, Dave Bronze back here with another video and this week I'm going to tell you about this new pill I've come across uh, called, an, oh if the camera will pick it up, come on camera, work, there we go, the Omec Teleport. This is an audio interface, you have a guitar input on this side and you have two outputs on the other side. And I'll tell you a bit more about that but uh, yeah, it's amazing. So you can have an audio interface on your pedal board. Why is that a cool thing? Well, what it means is you can use sounds off your laptop live. So say if you use Amplitube or certain plugins that you really love, then uh, you can use that, uh, just trigger it from your pedal board and send it to the front of the house. The other cool thing is, is that you can use it to connect to some piece of software called Jam Origins MIDI Guitar 2. And what that means is you can use your guitar to play choir sounds, string sounds, anything that's uh, MIDI triggered. So traditionally, in fact, uh, my last album I wrote entirely on keyboard. Now there's two rather than on guitar, which might surprise a few people. But the reason for that is because when you've got really inspirational sounds, um, playing them on keyboard, which isn't my main instrument, playing them in on keyboard means that I really have to listen to how it sounds and concentrate on the melodic elements and the harmony and uh, use my ear to find things that are interesting. Whereas when I write on guitar, the, don't know, maybe it's the same for you or maybe it's just me, I don't know, but I tend to default to things that I've done like a million times. Um, perhaps I'll favour things that are technically easy for me to play uh, or chord voicings that I've played a million times. Whereas on keys, because you've got two hands and you can, you're more influenced by what you're hearing in terms of like say a choir section or whatever, then I think it's helped me write music that's more interesting and more musical. That being said, of course, the second reason is actually I'm not a great keyboard player. So, and it's always been a real hassle trying to get your guitar midded up and plugged into your laptop to play sort of those kind of sounds. So in the past I've had things like MIDI pickups, I've, uh, and, uh, and like a MIDI unit, I think it's a Roland, man I can't remember what it's called now, but a Roland unit was massive and it didn't always track very well. So this, new product is super duper exciting. I'm gonna give you a quick demo in this video. I'm gonna show how to connect it to your computer via the Jam Origin software and also how to use AMP plugins uh, and effects like that. So you can use it live or, or record with it. Okay, so let's just jump in and have a listen to some of the amazing things that you can do with the Omic Teleport. So right here I've got it uh, connected to a piece of software called MIDI Guitar 2 and it's from uh, jamorigin.com and, uh, and I've got it uh, plugged into a choir preset. So let's have a little listen to some of the sounds you can get. Sounds pretty amazing. So yeah, so there you go. So it sounds really incredible. And I'm just gonna go through now and show you how I've set this up. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the interface and select the USB audio codec, which is uh, the uh, driver for the uh, Omec Teleport. And then if you uh, look here, it's selected to polyphonic, because I've got more than one thing going on at once. And then if you have a look here, you can see the, uh, you can see that's your audio signal coming in there. So when I play, uh, and then over
over here is where the clever stuff happens. So I've got a, a contact, um, sorry, a, a plugin from Spitfire Audio here. So if I go down here, click show, the actual plugin comes up that it's using remotely. And I could uh, pick a different sound. So let's try this one. Try something a bit weird with this uh, Clash one. <laughs> That's cool. So let's try that one again. So, uh, and those are some of the amazing sounds you can get. So. Let's look now more at the kind of sound I'm going to be using uh, live. So I'm just going to go up to the patch uh, setting here uh, and I'm going to click on one that I made earlier. So as you guys know, the, th the thing I'm most well known for is um, doing sort of Celtic music. A lot of my albums are really Lord of the Rings inspired uh, and I particularly love the sound of the Ullen pipes. So what I've got here is I've got the uh, Contact 5 is playing an Ullen pipe sound, so I'm just going to show you that. So that's just Contact Player and it has a sample on, so I'm just going to turn the guitar off a second. So, uh, so. <laughs> So that's the sound of Ullen pipes, but I've also got Amplitude plugged in. So you could also use the Omec pedal to uh, use sort of things like bias effects. I'm using Amplitude here. Um, or say you've got a particular effect on your uh, laptop that you really like and you want to use live, it's going to be great for that. So I'm just going to show you the Amplitude setup. So I'm running a Soldano amp. Uh, I've disabled the cab because I'm, uh, I'm not a massive fan of the cabs in Amplitude and I'm using the Torpedo Wall of Sound plugin. Um, in this case with a Zilla cab with a Vintage 30 and a couple of mics. Uh, classic Dynamic 421 and SM57. Uh, so let's just have a little bit of a listen to the guitar sound. So you can hear it's blended in there with the uh, with the sound of um, the Ullen pipes. So um, so that sounds really cool. And the other thing you can do because the Omic teleport has two outputs. You can pan, say if you wanted to send it to the front of the house and you wanted the guitar in one channel and whatever effect you're using like organ or choir in the other, you can pan these. So the way I've done that is in contact, I've panned it slightly left up here and then uh, on Amplitube, I think I'm panning it somewhere uh, or maybe it's in Wall of Sound, let's have a look at Wall of Sound. Oh yeah, so Wall of Sound I've got the pan slightly so it's not 100% hard left and right but it's just so that it's easier for you guys to hear what's guitar and what's Ullen pipes. So just to give you a flavour of what it sounds like uh, live I'm just going to uh, play a little section from Castle Rig Reels by Iona, one of my favourite bands so here we go.
you get the idea. So yeah, so what else can I say about the Omec Teleport? I mean, it's incredibly compact and useful. As you could hear, the latency is great. It tracks, I, I mean, perfectly, to be honest, uh, even with those high speed kind of tapping uh, things that I was doing. Uh, so it's definitely worth uh, checking it out. So I'm going to do one more, well, maybe two more videos on this. I'm going to do another video where I use the Omec Teleport and uh, uh, jamorigin.com's MIDI Guitar 2 to create some backing tracks. And so I'll show you how to hook it up in, in Cubase and how to, you know, how to use it to record MIDI. And then I'll also show you a video of how I'd use it actually live uh, on my pedal board and how to do that. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. Please head over to davebronze.com and check out um, the music that I make. Oh, by the way, uh, also that tune I was playing there, um, there's a video tutorial on uh, licklibrary.com called Celtic Shred where I break that down. So if you enjoyed that, uh, feel free to head over to Lick Library and check that out. Okay, take care guys and see you in the next video.